Okay, I'm going to try something a little tricky here. I've got a tree right there that was beside my sawmill. And I need to put it right in this opening right here. Now it's leaning that way just a bit. And so what I've done is I've put a come along on it to this tree and put some tension on it. So hopefully it won't hit this pile of wood. It should just come right in through here. And I've got to thread it, come around here. So it just missed that tree. So this is the track. So we're going to see if I can do this. You can see I've got a little bit of a turn on it. So I'm just going to take it slow and see if I can get this thing down. So just give me a second and I'll set you up. Okay, wasn't perfect, but it's on the ground. It still found a hole there to go through. I do have one limb there that's hanging off the tree right over there. Get over here, yeah, right there. I'm gonna have to pull that down. But other than that, it's on the ground. So I'll step back in with you in a little bit once I get it out of here okay welcome back it's a little later in the day I've got most of the stuff down cleaned up starting to burn there I got out of that one tree I got a nice 12 foot 4 log right there and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, nine foot four. They're going to be for studs. And then I've got a little eight foot one there. I can get a couple studs out of that for uh, just regular study. 
so it was a it was a procedure to get it uh, down and get the tree out because it was in an awkward spot um, what I did I think in the last video you saw I, I felled the tree down right there where the wheelbarrow is and then what I had to do is I had to put snatch blocks on that tree way over there at the end of that uh, log pile right there and pull the the uh, towards the tree and do a 90 degree angle and pull out uh, into the main uh, yard area so you can see I put up a temporary post here like I did over in the other corner so just I'll bring you over here and I'll show you what I did kind of explain it a little better but the snatch blocks worked well for doing this so pull it over didn't do a lot of milling today most of the stuff was clean up and I took down two other trees that were just one was garbage and then one was in the way of falling that other tree but right here as you can see this tree right here I hooked the snatch block to that and it goes right back at almost 90 degrees between those two piles where the pallets are you can see I put little rollers there four foot uh, pieces of uh, pine that I use for rollers what I did is I rolled that right along between those two things and it came out there no problem it didn't affect it didn't affect my pallets or anything when I put them back on the bolt the posts or the blocks were all pretty much stayed in place and I pulled that log this way and then I pulled it out that way and so it worked so that was the last really in this area probably the last of the difficult trees I had to get out in around my mill I I have got that one other one right over there you can see it's a that's a pine tree right there but that's got to come down but that one I can fall right out into the yard so I'm not too concerned about that but this one over here I was kind of dreading taking it down but I knew I had to so today was the day and now it's down and it's on my on my loading dock and so I should have that hopefully if the weather holds mill that out tomorrow and get a lot more uh, two by six I'm going to use that 12 foot log to start cutting out any two by tens I can get out of that for uh, the bonus room over the garage is going to have 12 foot joists on it so anyway that's it I'm going to clean up here paint the ends of my logs and then go home it's been a long it's been a long day already so until next time uh, thanks for joining me if you like what you're seeing please hit subscribe or like I uh, would have really appreciate it and I will see you next time okay I'm going to try to take that pine tree down um, I've taken down the tarp this is the last of the pine trees that is around my saw so I'm gonna see if I can't bring that down in the yard so I have to do very little yarding with the truck and so come around here I'm standing where the tree is got my little fire there so I'm going to try to land it right in there so let's see how I do I'll set this up 